Deep in the periodic table, there exists a region where the generally unstable so-called super-heavy elements that tend to last for just a second or less before radioactive decay tend to become more stable. Scientists have named this long hypothesized region the Island of Stability. The transactinide synthesized elements get larger and larger. Their atomic half-lives become shorter and shorter. This goes into the realm of microseconds. For the final element, element 118 or Oganesson, it's just 690 microseconds. Due to particle physics, certainly beyond the realm of knowledge build. Elements that get heavier that can be synthesized may start to gain longer half-lives into seconds, minutes, or even billions of years. This idea was first proposed in the 1940s by Glenn T. Seaborg. Around that time, scientists proposed that the island of stability would center around element 114, the element with 114 protons. At that point, they discovered only around to element 100. Despite these predictions, when element 114 was discovered in 1998, it was found to not be terribly stable, with a half-life of only 1.9 to 2.4 seconds, depending on different sources. So what gives? Were scientists' prediction for the island of stability wrong, or did they have the location wrong? Well, there was some evidence for stabilization around element 114. A single atom was synthesized with a half-life of more than 30 seconds, and all the atoms of element 114 resisted complete fission, like typical super-heavy elements, instead decaying with helium nuclei, or alpha decay. Beyond this, the already synthesized isotopes of element 114 and the surrounding elements are not the isotopes predicted to be extremely stable under the atomic models used. If super-heavy elements can in fact have half-lives of billions of years, then they may exist in nature. Scientists have looked for super-heavy elements in nature. Searches conducted in the 20th century failed, but recent research, particularly looking for cupronitium element 112 and cosmic rays, has seemed promising, and the discovery of super-heavy elements in nature may not be far away. Lastly, there are suggestions of more distant islands of stability, or of whole continents of stability into elements 160 and beyond, including those of free-flowing quarks. There may be exciting discoveries soon that change our fundamental understanding of particle physics.